Welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Josh Carney. When watching the Pittsburgh Steelers week one win over the Atlanta Falcons live, offseason splash signing Patrick Queen looked solid overall. He was around the football quite a bit and appeared to be making some plays. But going back through the game broadcast and then the All-22, one thing stood out with Queen that was a real negative. His inability to tackle consistently on Sunday. Against the Falcons, Queen missed three tackles to lead the Steelers, based on my charting. He finished with just two tackles overall in the win. For those scoring at home, that's a 60% missed tackle rate, which is not a good showing whatsoever in his first regular season game as a Steeler. Context is important, though. Queen played just 21 snaps in the preseason and was dealing with an injury late in training camp, which limited him just a bit. He's just getting up to speed now, and Sunday was the first real tune-up for him. The three missed tackles is concerning, especially considering he missed 82 tackles in four seasons with the Baltimore Ravens. It's not time to panic, though. I want to make that clear. He's a playmaker, one that is around the football a lot. He's like former Steelers linebacker Ryan Chazier in that sense. He gets the spots that others wouldn't. And he's going to miss some tackles here and there. While I'm not panicking just yet based on the three misses in week one, I will have a close eye on Queen in week two to see if he can bounce back in the tackling department and clean some of those things up. The Steelers' defense needs him to, even after a dominant showing in week one. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And check out the Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazora and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.